Hi, uh, this is Burke on Hackett, and welcome to episode 4 of Walking and Talking, the series where I play loads of different walking simulators. So today we're playing Solitude, it's um, described as being just a sketch, 5 minute experience, and the developer Alexandra Ignatov hopes to extend it someday. Uh, so we're in this room. I've already had a quick look at this uh, to do some testing for recording, but I haven't done too much. So I can open the curtains here and look out at some pretty rooftops. I can't quite see down into the street below. The skybox has a kind of a nice low poly effect on it, and so does the edge of the window here. It has its bricks. I like this plant, all of the randomized triangles um, and there seems to be some nice music coming from my computer speakers in this game and someone is eating cake and broccoli for dinner there's a really cool effect with the mirrors here but um, I can't see myself which I don't blame the developer I know it's hard to do uh, mirrors in games but I can crouch so that's nice. I really love the feeling of this room. It feels really like an actual apartment that someone would have. And the lights around the bed really like help to bring it all together. And so do the pictures on the walls. Um, and what's this book? I have, uh, I think it's uh, Russian perhaps? I don't know exactly, but um, I can read it. 6th of June, I will not leave this room anymore. Yesterday I had a wonderful night with that guy, but after all I bored him with all my fears and insecurities. He left and will not come back. I'm hurt and scared. He doesn't need me like this. No one needs. I cannot change. I will spend some more decades here. And after that, all that's left after me is just a feathered black spot. I want to see him again. So that was really interesting. There's two glasses of wine on the floor, um, which suggests that the meeting, the two people together that was described in this book, in the diary, was actually taking place in this room, and they drank wine. And I just knocked the wine bottle, bottle over. It's 11.20, I presume, in the morning. Um, there's a picture of, I presume, the developer or the person we're playing as in this game. Um, there's a phone. Which I can interact with somehow. Uh, okay. Oh, I dropped it. Hey, the screen didn't crack. Well, it kind of looks like it's already cracked. I just threw the phone through the wall. I can turn on the lights. Yeah. Oh, and the mirrors update to like the different actions you do in the room. Even though I don't know that they are real time. Oh no, they are. Okay. Um. So there's this bag here. There's no interaction with it. It's a very nice 3D model. All of the models in this game are really nice. Um. I wonder can I turn on these lights? No, it seems like I can't. Uh, can I, oh, I can just lift a chair. And there's a nice bit of cloth simulation on the thing that's on the back of it. And I can lift the food. Oh, by the way, I said that was cake earlier, but I know it's not. Just to be clear. I'm gonna press all the keys on my laptop, hang on. Oh, I closed the lid. I don't think this laptop is like... I think the screen's a bit floppy on it. There we go. Now I can press the keys with the broccoli. The music stopped as well, apparently. 
So there's a lot of just like baking stuff up in this game. I must say I can really relate to like the idea of this game of just staying in your room. Because there's one or two da days, there's one or two days or more that I've felt like that myself. Um, so it's really interesting to me. I can open my wardrobe, but I can't put it on my clothes. Can I jump in here? I can. Ooh, it's like a horror game. <laughs> Hiding in a wardrobe. So there's actually tissues under here. Which look like they've been being used. Very interesting, I guess, environmental storytelling in this game. Um, it's neat how the developer has, like, put all these different things into the room. I suspect it's actually based off of the developer's room, um, quite quite realistically, because there's just so much detail in everything, I guess. Um, but anyway, I'll check my emails here. Hi, Yester yesterday, it was really cool, but do not expect anything else. You scare me, you're a freak that cannot be changed. I'm not ready to live my life with such a hermit. Your problems are disgusting and pointless. They are only yours, not mine. Best wishes. So uh, this is from Tonami at quellquimail.xo. So Tonami seems like a very, very mean person to this guy. Even even if the person we're playing as has problems, I don't think that's the way uh, anyone should deal with it should approach the person about them. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing, well, I'm suspecting that either that email was, um, was sort of the interpretation of what the person in this game is imagining the email actually says, when it's a little bit less, um, when it's actually just a gentler put down or else the email is just that and this guy, the person in this game has really bad taste in people but you never know now I'm just knocking books but I wonder can I read any of these can I jump on my table I can So there's a lot of work gone into the 3D models in this game. And it's really interesting. And I'd definitely love to see the story um, expanded upon a lot more. Uh, so yeah, I hope, um, I hope I see more of this game's, this game being developed. Oh, I can actually drag these clothes. Um, I can't open the door, can I? Uh, oh, okay, I can. Attention, before leaving this, consider, or before leaving, consider this. Food can be bought online. Toilet and bathroom are overestimated by our society. Bathroom is down there, the corridor to the left. You don't, you don't need work. You have parents and welfare. Real people are irrelevant. Go surf some social networks. So... This person is a bit of an introvert, um, and they've written this, well, I suppose it's them, they've written this note to themselves about uh, why they really don't need to leave, and why they can do everything through the internet pretty much, or well, their parents giving them money. Um, and now there's a message telling me not to leave the room, so. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna go out this door and I better study something. Nobody waits for me here. This is forever. I have to close the door. They'll laugh at me. That's too dangerous.
So there's this great sense of being inside the person's head in this game. Um, but also there's the room nearly representing being inside their head. So they spend all this time inside their head thinking these thoughts about the outside world and about what other people think about them. And they spend all this this uh, time in their room thinking thoughts about what's outside their room and why they shouldn't go out there. And so they're kind of thinking about why they shouldn't leave the confines of their own head and the internet. It's a really interesting um, story. Actually, you know what, I think I'll leave the game here. Um, this was really interesting, I really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed all the little details that the developers put in this. And it's a very, very interesting concept for a game, and it translates really well to a game. So if you like this video, I guess like, comment, and subscribe, as they say. Goodbye.